Sharala, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Rekah, Kodash, the blinders of the apostles of great millstone and citations unto the legmen that feed the sheep of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and in truth with this great gospel, with this great gospel. You know how it is, our beautiful power, our Lord, keep bringing more and more judgment, more and more judgment, like we tell you, um, money can't save you wealth can't save you notoriety can't save you um you being a star with status in this society that can't save you when it's the time of visitation when it's the time of visitation by the lord and what's it what's, what's happening the lord is visiting the house of israel man you negroes you hispanics and native americans i'm reading it says eight years ago his friendship with an eight-year-old patient an eight-year-old cancer patient, Lacey Halsworth, inspired the nation. This morning, the former NBA star was shot and killed. Was shot and killed, man. Lord, clap this cat. Lord, clap this cat. And one thing we know, we read the book of Romans 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life to you. How is Shai Mashiach our power, man? Um, if these people were chasing our Lord, was seeking his truth, knowledge, and wisdom, man, a lot of them would still be alive. A lot of them would still be alive. You gotta realize these entertainers, man, their lives are so wrapped up in um pleasing the men of this world and pleasing their flesh and trying to be seen, trying to be heard, trying to be known, trying to be popular. And the same people that be around them is a lot of the same people putting them to death by their fans, by their family members, friends, right? Wives, girlfriends. I mean, again, Romans, this is all the judgment of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is what? Eternal life through Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. That's the only way back to, the, to our power. That's the only way back to our power in this eternal life starts with the knowledge and wisdom of our lord man you gotta know the lord and his son and you gotta walk in a way that what pleases our heavenly father because if you don't you're gonna fucking be killed like all these other niggas like all these other niggas and they always talking about r.i.p rest in peace adrian payne's last moments before he died r.i.p adrian payne guess what adrian you are no longer in pain my nigga now you got your mind right you in the heavens with the lord you got your mind right. You looking down on the earth and you seeing this man. What a wicked ass place I just got removed from. And you, you already know this is the end of a lot of you celebrities. You're gonna be put to death. You're gonna be shot. You're gonna be killed. You're gonna be destroyed. Why? Because you chose to find your life. <laughs> you chose to be a man of this world, a man of this society. So guess what? The Lord is bringing down this world and this society, man. Says R.I.P. Adrian Payne, former Michigan State basketball star, dies at 31, final moment. So he did all that shit for the world. And guess what? In a few years, nobody will remember Mr. Adrian Payne. Nobody. And oh, let's see. It says um, a man later identified as 31 year old Payne was discovered suffering from a gunshot gunshot wounds and taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The suspect was identified as 29-year-old Lawrence Doherty. I guess this is Mr. Doherty right here. It says, officials say Doherty stayed at the scene and was transported to Oxco, Ox, Oxco, Oxco, headquarters where he was interviewed by the homicide detectives doherty has been arrested for first degree murder and lodged in the orange county jail investigators focused on the black car stopped in the street with its passenger door open they also roped off a section of the town home community i heard the gunshots last night i saw hella police cars i didn't even know it was Mayhem last night, Re Marceline, a neighbor said it woke everyone up in his house, in the house. My family up, Sports Illustrated, Sports Slack. Sports Illustrated reports the victim, Adrian Payne, rose to prominence at Michigan State where he was named 
So the all Big Ten team played Payne played in um one o one hundred and seven NBA games, averaging four points and three rebounds. That's some bullshit. These niggas get paid all this motherfucking money for four points and three rebounds. I could do that shit with my eyes closed. It says over four seasons with the Atlantic Hawks, Minnesota Timberwolves, and guess what? Now where he at? That nigga about to be wrapped up in a motherfucking casket. Why? Because um, you was wasting your time playing with balls. We keep telling you niggas, stop playing with them balls. I'm going to read the book of um, Psalms 90, verse 12. Because Jake, all he want to do is practice basketball, practice football, practice running, jumping. Oh, I'm working out, lifting weights to go what? To go entertain a crowd so he could get that bag, so he could make money and shit nobody wants to be broke nobody wants to be broke but guess what we're in a time hey man we choosing to suffer and push this word than to be part of this society that's what separates the men of the lord from the boys of this society <laughs> i'm reading it says so teach us to number our days these niggas days getting cut short they, they days getting cut short matter of fact i keep telling you these celebrities these entertainers don't live that long famous celebrities who died at an unbelievable young age the only certain fact any human knows about himself is that he would die someday right might sound like a cliche line but this sentence deserves to be mentioned in context in this context many unfortunate ones die at an unexpected unexpectedly young age leaving their loved ones in a state of shock and grief similarly several celebrities several celebrities who had earned admired admirers all over the world lost their lives when they were pretty young the infamous 27 club have you heard of the 27 club let's see what it is the infamous 27 club since shivers down the spines of several dead, I'm sorry, several people even today. The 27 Club refers to the celebrities who died at the age of 27. This one, they were at the peak of their respective careers. Let's, we're going to go into some of these fucking drug addicts and loudmouth, troublemaking rock and roll rappers and fucking sluts and trouble. No, b- bunch of no good people. No good people. I'm going to read it. It says... The 27 Club. That's why the Lord got rid of your ass. It reads, the 27 Club refers to the celebrities who died at the age of 27, just when they were at the peaks of their respective careers. World famous musicians like Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, two drug drug addict motherfuckers, Janice Hopton, Brian Jones are a few of icons who belong to this club actors Brittany murphy what did she promote nothing but fucking dark witchcraft shit heath ledger straight sodomite acclaimed singer amy winehouse a dope head tupac shakur a fucking loser are a few celebrities who died at a rel- relatively young age tupac shakur you fucking grew up in hollywood made all this money just to go back into the streets just to go back into the streets and die fighting for some fucking gangbangers Right? They should call this the Loser Club. Because they all lost their lives. <laughs> the Loser Club. Get it? It says Tupac Shakur are a few celebrities who died at a relatively young age. Heath Ledger, who is best remembered for a fucking Joker role. Yeah, you are a Joker, Hollywood motherfuckers. Blockbuster Dark Knight apparently died to what? Drug overdose. Who had acted in several other acclaimed movies. Well was 28 at the time of his death. Interestingly, he was also honored with an Academy Award for his role in the yeah yeah blah 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 Yeah, let's read it again. Romans 6 and 23 for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of the most high is eternal life through your Hawashai Mashiach. There's gonna be more dead celebrities because they're not seeking this gospel, they're not seeking the Lord, they're not seeking the truth of the Heavenly Father right they're not seeking knowledge they're not seeking wisdom understanding i'm gonna read the book of psalms 90 and 12 so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom 
return, O, yet, o Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Man, um, the Lord ain't having no mercy on these celebrities, these entertainers, these musicians making all that goddamn fucking noise, right? I'm reading, it says, O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou has afflicted us in the years wherein we have seen evil it's like and jake's gonna continue to see more and more evils yeah you're gonna wake up the fucking gunshots it's gonna terrorize your family wait till martial law wait till the time of jacob's trouble wait till the time of jacob's trouble man that's what's about to happen i'm gonna read the book of ephesians 5 verse 19 Redeeming the time, Salaki. Let me start at 16. Ephesians 5 and 16. It says, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise. <laughs> yeah, these stupid are artists and musicians, unwise men indulging in lifestyles of what? Drugs, no sleep, fucking unprotected sex with both, se both sexes. He's some fucking sodomites, man these entertainers and these musicians these sexual magic demons imagine what they done did to get to where they got to right it says redeeming the times because the days are evil wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the but, but what understanding what the will of Yahweh is what the will of the lord is and be not drunk with wine wherein is access but be filled with the spirit Speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your hearts to the Lord. The Lord don't want to hear that bullshit ass church song. He want to hear these gospels. That's the only thing the Lord want to hear, man. Them scriptures playing over and over in your head because that's what's going to keep you stable when all hell fucking breaks loose, right? And when there really ain't no security and safety because right now you still have a sense of security and safety. But what the Lord's going to remove that? <laughs> 